So Pascal, Pascal's law, Pascal said that pressure is distributed evenly in a contained area. Pascal said the pressure is distributed evenly in a um, in a contained area. So um, that's very very useful in the in in the sense that a very small force, a very small force, small force on a small area can create a useful large force if you give it a larger area to work. So let's take a look at a system then where we're just gonna pay for a little bit of force in. And we're gonna get a lot of force out just by using this very nice Pascal's law. Thank you, Pascal. So I'm gonna put a small force on here. My force is gonna be this little weight and it's acted upon by the force of gravity. And in effect, it's going to be, um, the force in is gonna be 10 pounds of force and I'm gonna do this one in Imperial. So, and then I said, I'm gonna use Pascal to show that I can actually get a big force out. I can get like F out to be bigger than F in. And this is what actually cost me some money. I just put a little force in there, okay? So I put F in is 10 pounds um, over a little cross-sectional area and we'll call this cross-sectional area A in, and that's just gonna be one inch squared. Um, but if I uh, use a large cross-sectional area A out, I hope to get a large force out because of how the equation works. Um, so I'm gonna give, instead of one inch squared, I'm gonna give 10 inches squared as my area out and hope for a bigger force. So if I were um, to calculate the pressure in here, the pressure inside, this is a contained space, then the pressure inside would be um, force over area. So it would be 10 pounds of force over in one inch squared, which is 10 PSI. There's 10 PSI inside here. But Pascal said pressure is distributed evenly in a contained area. So that means that there's there was 10 PSI acting here because of this force going down, which made 10 PSI act here and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And what's acting here on this cross-sectional area is 10 PSI acting on this, right? So the relationship is true that force oops, that the relationship is true that uh, force over area, force what have I done? So it's true that um, force over force one over area one is equal to pressure one, which is just the pressure throughout, which is equal to pressure two, which is equal to force at the second piston over the area of the second piston. Uh, the first force was 10 pound mass over one inch squared. The second force is unknown over uh, 10 inches squared. 
So the second force is equal to 10 times 10, 100 pound mass times inch squared over uh, 10 times 10 over uh, one inch squared. So therefore, F2 is equal to 100 pound mass, 100 pounds. So what I got out is 100 pounds, 100 pounds out for only a cost of 10 pounds in. How do we do that? By manipulating the cross-sectional area and knowing that the pressure is same all throughout. So that's how uh, Pascal's law can be used. That's an analogy of a simple, um, a simple hydraulic press.